Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, so today I'm going to do a quick little video on some of my favorite Korean beauty products. Um, recently, over the past couple months, I've been getting kind of obsessed with Korean beauty like a lot of other people right now. Um, it's really making its way into the U.S. and it's become a lot more readily available um, at places like Sephora and Ulta and of course tons of websites online. Uh, so I've been trying out some things. Uh, I've been trying out quite a lot. Uh, the things I'm going to show you today are not everything. I kind of wanted to make this in two parts, possibly three. I have been buying a lot of stuff um, and I'm not stopping anytime soon. I've slowly been incorporating them into my routine um, a few at a time because I want to make sure I know what's working and what's not. Um, so today I'm just going to share the ones I've been trying out for the longest. So enough blabbing and let's get started with some of my favorite K-Beauty products. Alright, so the first product I have is one of the, the first things I actually bought um, and it is the Neogen Green Tea Cleansing Stick. And if you're at all familiar with K-Beauty, I'm sure you've heard about this. It's not exactly an unknown product. It's pretty popular. Um, it also comes in a liquid foaming form. I was just really intrigued by the solid form. Um, I talked about in past videos, I tried out some cleansing sticks and I got one in my Sephora box a while back and I felt like it was kind of gross and unclean and I wasn't sure. Um, but I did some research and I found out that as long as you let the top dry off, it's okay. So after cleansing my face, just rub it around on a damp face, um, then I just leave it open on my counter for a while, a couple hours or whatever, and then put the cap back on. And yeah, I've noticed no slime or anything, anything gross, and honestly I've had no breakouts from it. So I've actually had relatively good skin lately. So yay, I'm really glad it works. Um, it's really travel friendly and I'm excited to travel more with it. Um, TSA friendly. <laughs> um, it smells really good. Honestly, it just smells like lightly soapy. I don't know, a lot of people, when I read reviews, they said it smells like green tea and I, I don't think it does at all, but it's like not really scented. So that's good for a lot of people. Um, it has little tiny green tea leaves in it that come off on your face and very, very lightly exfoliate while you cleanse which is really awesome. Um, and I use this as the second step in my double cleansing um, to get the rest of my makeup off and just generally clean my face. Um, a lot of people have raved about it because they say it is two for one for double cleanse, like you can just double cleanse with it. Um, I have never tried that. I honestly like using my oils or creams beforehand, but I also don't really want to get makeup on the stick because then I'll just be rubbing makeup on my face again later. I don't know. I, d I just, I prefer to keep it separate because I can. I could see if you were like in a rush and that's all you had that it would work, but I don't know. I prefer my oils. <laughs> it does, it cleans very, very well. Um, it has a pH of about 5 to 5.5, I believe. Anyway, a safe pH for your face without that you won't get that stripped feeling. Um, it's great for dry skin. I can't speak for oily skin or combination, but it's great for dry skin. Your skin just feels really nice and clean without feeling dried out. So that is really a huge plus in my book. <laughs> and so I mentioned earlier that I do the double cleansing method. I uh, probably should have done this first, but oh well. Um, so my first step when I get home and I'm ready to wash my face is my cleansing oil. And I have been using the Face Shops Rice Water Bright. And this is a light cleansing oil. And then the rest is pretty much in Korean. So um, it's pretty simple though. You just don't wet your face. You pump, the pump is actually great. It gives you, one pump gives you enough for your whole face. Rub it around and just rub it all over your face. If I'm not in a huge rush, which usually I'm not, I like to leave some time to wash my face at night. Um, I kind of rub it around for a little bit, just kind of massage my face. I also can, like leave it on for a minute if I'm really just like have tons of time. I don't do it that much, but just really rub it in. Um, just I can't believe it's an oil because honestly, it just 
it doesn't feel I mean it's not as light as like a micellar water but it does feel very watery it feels like a mix of oil and water um, but it does an amazing job getting everything off yeah it doesn't really have a scent yeah uh, scents don't bother me a whole lot but I thought I'd just point that out because I know some people are very sensitive to them um, it really just yeah this kind of smells like generic oil scent. I don't know, nothing perfumey or flowery or herbally or anything. So maybe it's rice water. Maybe that's the scent of rice water. I don't know. <laughs> All right. So the next thing is a toner. Um, I actually am using two toners right now. The other one I haven't been using for that long. So I'll save that for the second parter. But this one I've been using for about a month or so. so I bought this off of iHerb um, and it is the AHA BHA Clarifying Treatment Toner from Cosarex. And again, if you're familiar with K-Beauty at all, you've probably heard the brand name Cosarex. Um, they're very popular and very, very affordable. It's definitely low end like drugstore prices for these. I think their main goal as a company is helping people with acne prone skin. Um, but as someone who isn't super acne prone, I still really like their products so far. Um, I just think that this, mainly the reason I use it is because I think it's a great booster to the acids that I already use. Um, I use this in the morning and at night. Um, I just use a couple squirts on my hand and pat it onto my face. And my main acid right now is the lactic acid 10%, um, which I talked about in my ordinary review video. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It has no scent. It doesn't sting or anything. I don't quite know the percentage of this. Like I said, it's all in Korean. Um, it might be on their site. I don't have super sensitive skin though, so I don't always, I'm not always good about looking that up. But it's pretty light and it works really well. And yeah, it was super cheap and I love it. <laughs> Alright, so the last thing I'm going to talk about is also not going to be a surprise if you love K-Beauty. Um, and this is the Misha Time Revolution First Treatment Essence. And this bottle is extremely greasy because the stuff is incredibly moisturizing and I'm always fiddling with the cap and stuff. Um, this stuff is amazing. <laughs> which isn't surprising because it's very, very popular. Um, it's a well-known dupe for the SK2 Essence, uh, which is over $100, which is way too much. Um, there's even dupes for this. Like I think uh, Secret Key has a dupe. Um, if you've used that and this, let me know because I was kind of thinking about trying it, but then I chickened out because I know how much I love this. Uh, I didn't really want to waste my time. So let me know if you really liked it as a dupe because it's like even cheaper. Um, I use this every day. I use it twice a day. Um, and sometimes I even do multiple layers. Uh, usually in the morning, I don't um, because I'm going to put makeup and all that other stuff on but at night sometimes I'll kind of do my own limited version of the sudden skin method. It's really great for just general moisture and anti-aging. Um, it has a lot. Uh, I use it for moisture and anti-aging. It does have fermented yeast extract in it. That's like it's Misha's big thing. Um, well I guess SK2's big thing as well. That's how they duped it. Um, which is supposed to help with all that that I mentioned, moisturizing, anti-aging, yada yada. Um, yeah, look up fermented yeast extract. Um, it's in a lot of K-Beauty products. That's a big thing with them. And it has proven results. And honestly, I feel like I've seen proven results because I've noticed my skin's a lot brighter and a lot more even. Uh, I've been using it for like a little over a month. Actually, like two months if you count the... Uh, the sample that I got first uh, and yeah I've definitely noticed way more evening out of skin tone and just oily and dry patches and it's just yeah it's beautiful and I love it and there's no scent of course because what would this even smell like it does not smell like yeast I mean spoiler I've liked like all the Korean beauty products I've tried so this isn't really gonna be like a what was good and bad video um I did buy a mini version of the May Coop raw sauce. I didn't like it. So that means Misha is really awesome. Uh, I just didn't find it moisturizing enough. I, I really liked the texture of it, but 
And this, honestly, it smells kind of nice. It has like maple syrup extract, I believe, in it. Um, which is really interesting and intriguing, and I really wanted to like it, but I ended up returning it because I did not. Yeah, and I used it for about a week, and I was forcing myself to use it, and my skin just didn't feel moisturized. Like, I'd put makeup on, and my skin would feel kind of tight. Um, and then I, the second I gave up and went back to this, my skin went back to normal. So, buy this. <laughs> Alright guys, so that is the end of my video. Hopefully you found it informative. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, any recommendations for other products to try or anything. Honestly, really. Um, go ahead and comment down below. Uh, you can also follow me on Instagram and I'll put my name right up here. Um, yeah, sorry for the location change. If you've been watching my videos, you noticed um, that I'm not with my background. Uh, it, I am experiencing a heat wave where I live, and the room where I film is incredibly warm. So <laughs> thank you for watching. Hopefully this background wasn't too weird. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks.